Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed up your modeling by using FFT. For example, I want to move all these faces to the right and have this kind of an angular shape. In order to do that, uh, for example, for standard modeling method, I have to like move it, rotate it around, move it at the angle and select all these uh, where the season it's just nasty and take a very long time but what i can do here is just select all these vertex vertices i can add modify fft two by two by two i can go to the control point and then i'm gonna select uh, these two vertex at the bottom i'm gonna move to the x just like that done i have the same effect right here now for the second example right here, what I want to do, I want to have a curve like that at the end of this, these faces right here. So for the, again, a standard polygon, polygon solution, I just select all these, you know, vertices and move it around. It takes a lot of time, but what I can do here is just select all these vertices, vertices right here. I'm gonna apply FFT three by three. Then I'm gonna select all these vertices one, two, three at the bottom and move it to the left. I'm gonna select this one, only this vertex. I'm gonna move it up to create this beautiful curve right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just set flow each one of these. This edge to create a beautiful curvature right here that will maintain beautiful all right and the final example example number three i want to have a curve at the middle of this shape right here middle of this object i want to start from for example this vertex right here and end at this one all right so Again, the standard method is just select all this, just narrow it down, deselect it, and just narrow it down again. And it's time consuming, but there is a better way by using FFT. I'm gonna undo that, go to the right view, and I'm gonna select at the modifier list FFT 4x4. Then I'm gonna go to editable poly, and then I'm gonna select all these vertices all right something like that okay now then i'm gonna go to the control points right view i'm gonna select these vertices at the center and i'm gonna push it inside just like that if i want to have a curve at the back i can do this as well now we have a beautiful curve at the middle of our object Alright, this was the end of this tutorial. I hope you like it. Be sure to subscribe to hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.